This is LS11. Welcome along to another LS11, uh, your weekly one-stop shop for everything Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. Uh, my name is Darren, and I'm joined uh, by just one at the moment uh, of our lethal duo, uh, which is our resident rock star, the OG resident rock star from the Pigeon Detectives. They weren't invited to Saturday Night Takeaway, but they bloody well should have been. It is, of course, Ryan Wilson. Hello, Ryan. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. Yeah, it seems weird saying good evening. We're recording this on um, Wednesday evening, if you're listening back on the podcast. We normally do it on a Thursday morning. So, um, yeah, good evening, Darren. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit weird doing a, a, an evening one. But, no, uh, you've you've moved your diary around because I've got a busy week and the wife's away and I'm doing school drop-offs and I just can't do it uh, on a morning. So uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, how was it last week? Did you miss me? Um, I, I missed you. Uh, how was it? It was it was all right, but yeah, we did miss you, of course, Darren. Um, I forgot you wasn't doing the show up until about five minutes before the show, and I thought, oh, I'm hosting it this week. So I had to really, really, really quickly prep, prep it. I didn't know what sponsors Fantastic. were what, um, but yeah, we, we we got there. We muddled through it, and uh, and obviously a massive thanks and shout out to Jerry McNamee for being a super sub on his, he were on his holidays um, up in the Lake District, um, tuning in from his hotel room. So, um, yeah, thanks to Jerry. I had a few internet issues. He joined late. Um, speaking of joining late, Ben Parker, fingers crossed, should be here. He's been um, up at the Mackhams this, uh, this, yeah. this fine day um, doing his day job. So um, on his way back from Sunderland, hopefully he should be on any time now, I guess. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so fingers crossed, uh, ben, has, uh, ben will be with us uh, very shortly indeed. Uh, yeah, I was away on Holly Bob's uh, last week. Uh, I did see on uh, uh, Jerry, he bumped into like Willie Nonto, didn't he, while he was in the lakes? <laughs> yeah, it was it literally just after we recorded the podcast, he'd gone out for a walk and bumped into him and he, he sent me the picture and then he's since put it on his social media and like, what are the chances of that? Obviously, Willie having a little break and a bit of fresh air and a walk around uh, the, the Lake District. But do you know what? Well, obviously, we'll get onto the game. Ultimately, not a good thing. But I kind of thought at the time, well, that's probably a good thing that, you know, clear the reds, you know, get a bit of fresh air and and that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, it didn't play out, did it? But, um, yeah, yeah. How random willing on top of the Lake District and, and our Jerry bumping into him. Ah, oh, fantastic! Uh, I love it when you football is in the wild. Uh, if you see football is in the wild, uh, do they move? Uh, so uh, yeah, if you if you if you, if, you, if you've seen a footballer in the wild, then do tell us. Of course, we're live streaming on Facebook and on YouTube and on the Twitter. Uh, never going to call it X. Uh, so if you uh, want to get in contact with us, you can uh, tweet us at ls 11 lufc or you can just tippy tappy in the comments on Facebook and on YouTube as well. Before doing 
anything else, a big thanks to our main sponsor of LS11. It is, of course, Tough Shop. If you've got printing and embroidery needs, but you don't like doing it online, well, go to Tough Shop's shop. They've got a massive range of the biggest brands like Snickers, Heli Hansen and Black Lada. Friendly staff to guide you through the process and a full sports section for kits and team wear based at their headquarters in Woodlesford, LS26. It's Tough Shop. And I hear breaking news from Tough Shop. There's a brand new like laser thing uh, that's uh, all kind of awesome, right? Yeah, well, it's um, it's actually raw merch's laser, not Tough Shop. Is laser, it actually but... raw merch <laughs> laser? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, raw merch's sister company to Tough Shop, by the way. So, um, yeah, there's a new laser machine there, so it kind of in, yeah, engrave on like wood and slate and all that sort of stuff it's really really cool um really cool you've got to be careful with the old pincers though you can't look directly at it but we've got loads of protective screening around it so um yeah um it's good so if you want any kind of laser engraving on any kind of wood products metal products give tough shop a call it's uh there's to share with raw merch there you go. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, well, I suppose we best get on uh, to uh, the game. I, I messaged you after this, uh, like, uh, <laughs> like playoffs sound good, um, but it, it's. I still think there's a few twists and turns. I mean, people may think this is, you know, in the comments, uh, but I still think there's a few twists and turns. You know, playoffs may not be such a bad thing uh, who knows um who knows what could happen over the next three how many games left is it three mm -hmm. three oh. yeah three oh Play playoffs are, playoffs are a bad thing darren I, we, we can't be in playoffs um <laughs> i don't think the mental and physical health of 99 percent of leeds fans can handle it um <laughs> but i just harp back to like that the last couple of games recently you know we've, we've played teams like coventry and hull even though we beat hull but they give us a right good game and I just think anything could happen in the playoffs. And and look, we've had this, it, you, you've got to call it a wobble this last few games. Um, we've had this wobble and it, we're kind of hitting the bad form at the wrong time if you were going into the playoffs. So we've got to sort that out ASAP. But now I'm terrified of the playoffs, I really am. And, you know, going into the Blackburn game, I was so confident and I was so buzzing after the Friday night result with um, Leicester getting beat down at Plymouth. And I were really excited. And on Friday, I had sort of like a spring in a step Friday evening around my house. And, you know, thinking, right, that's it. Because we got, you know, we got let off the week before, really. And, um, you know, with, with, with the draws and other teams losing and drawing and, you know, other teams around us as in Ipswich and Leicester. And and then, again, Ipswich falter, you think, yeah, sorry, Leicester falter, you think, get in. Ipswich faltered as well with a draw but still an extra point that point could be massive and a point for Leeds now would have looked huge but it but it was not to be and yeah it was just mad but before we continue um let's welcome Ben stop pucker time <laughs> can't touch this yeah he's here Ben Parker how you doing yeah the boys what have I missed are we promoted uh, what's happened? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's all done. We've decided done. that Leeds are promoted. We're, we, we're not fucking uh, um, dicking around with the playoffs. That's it. That's the quote. <laughs> not the F-bomb. <laughs> well, we've, got, we've gone rogue. It's uh, Wednesday evening. We can say what we want, do what we want. Yeah. We're, it's we're, past we're the watershed, bus, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, ben turns up watershed. in the podcast and then it's literally 10 seconds later, Ryan's dropping an F-bomb. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that, what that says about when we three get together. <laughs> but uh, uh, good to see you, Ben. We've, we've just started talking about the uh, uh, the Blackburn game. But, but before we do, uh, oh, we've got, are you, how are you? You all right? You've been up to Sunderland. Uh, you got back unscathed. Um, I've I've been on my travels, yeah. Um, I thought I might miss the Blackburn chat. I was thinking, do you know what? It's not a bad time to get on a bit late and miss some of this um, chat, and hopefully plan it for for the for the news. But um, but no, um, I've, I've got it out of my system just about um, the the weekend. Helps that I um, got a place on the Grand National, so uh, back to back to the one that came third. So that kind of softened the blow a little bit, I'd say. But um, but yeah, it's um, 
It's been an interesting week. It's been a Leeds United week, shall we say. <laughs> you know, what Rice was saying, you'd looked at all the other... And in fact, if you look in the Championship and the Premier League, it was like no one wants to win anything um, because everybody just sort of like threw away an opportunity over the weekend, whether they're top of the Premier League or top of the Championship. Everyone's like, oh, I don't really want to, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very weird, wasn't it, Ben? Oh, in, in, incredible. I think over the games, the teams that drop points, someone told me if, like you put a bet on for everyone to to lose. It was equated to something like 250,000 to one. Oh, so yeah. us, us, us three, we could have been in doing this from the Maldives this week. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> we've, we've, we've chose to do it from a comfort of home, but it just shows you the pressure this time of year. And kind of thinking about back to a time when we got promoted with the last few fixtures and form very indifferent. And you think the 92 lads, when they had the defeat, was it 4-0? Three, four games out before the end. Mm. But everyone's had, you, you do have a little wobble. It's just the, um, yeah, people call it pressure. And it, it's nothing down to football ability. Now it's just who can handle handle everything around it because obviously the talent's there. The, even the other teams, the talent's there. But it's just, yeah, it's just this time of year, just crazy things to you. Do you think it is Do you think it is pressure? Do you think that's that's what it is? I mean, you just mentioned there that, you know, on in your promotion, what was that, those last sort of like, that that, that running, what, what was that like? I sort of, sort of forget quite a bit of that now and just remember the, the Bristol game. Yeah, and so we we lost a week before away at Charlton, which I think a win there would have pretty much guaranteed as promotion. So we didn't have to do go through Bristol. Um, we slipped up, drew away at Gillingham, but then would be MK Dons at home. So very indifferent. Um, but as our good friend Steve Staunton once told us, pressures for car tyres, Darren. That's what it is for. <laughs> so, but I think it's, it's about embracing it. Like for for me, I embrace this time of the year because you go through a grueling season and you want something to play for at the end. And I've been in one relegation battle all in in my career, and let me tell you, it's better the other way around, trying to get into a top two and get promoted that way rather than trying to survive. So it's look, you just you just gotta embrace it and it's simple, clear messages, I think, this time. And look, it's nothing down to the players don't want it or whatever. It's yeah. just dealing with the situation. So right, what went wrong against Blackburn? What what happened? What was what was I did not see the game. I was fighting with my caravan. Uh, more on that later. Um but um what actually what happened? Um, uh, the low block. We we just struggled to do anything against the tactic, the low block, and we we I think when we um were talking ahead of the game on last week's podcast, we kind of said you know they'll probably do what Sunderland did. They'll look at the Sunderland game, and Sunderland just got all the men behind the ball, made it really hard for us. They kind of sort of punted it up to Jack Clark as and when they could, um, and see if they could nick a goal, but. What I'd say about Blackburn is they actually had more opportunities, certainly than what Sunderland did. Um, there were, you know, Melia were called into action a couple of times, and but they just got everybody behind the ball and just made it hard on us to get. They got a couple of players on on players like Somerville to stop him playing. Rutter, when he picked up the ball, they were getting hammered into straight away, but that's fine. And and they've done a, they've done a number on us. They, they were poor. It was an awful game. They had twenty five percent possession. We had seventy five. It's just it's just mad. They had three shots and they managed to score. We had 19 shots, you know, but but we, we didn't really trouble their, their, overly trouble their goalkeeper and there were just some crosses that were just a bit, just a foot off a player, you know. We, we didn't get a lot of luck necessarily in the game. We haven't even spoke about the changes. The, the manager, Daniel Farker, made changes ahead of the game, changes we, a lot of fans were calling for, you know, let's, you know, give Bamford a rest or whatever, get Piro in and, uh, Connor Roberts comes in at right back and we drop Kamara out, put Gray midfield's a bit more attacking. And to be fair, it didn't really make a blind bit of difference, really. And um, it, it was just a very, very hard, ugly game. And and a player like that, um, I forget how you pronounce his name, is it Schmidic, Sh- 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 whatever he's called, him who scored. That guy. Then. That guy. Sammy. Sammy, yeah. Having a fantastic season, amazing season. 
um, gets an half chance and, and and scores and and the life of being in Ellen Road, the life were just sucked out of Ellen Road and we're, we're scared Leeds fans. I've said that a million times and you, you know, as a Leeds fan, for me personally, I'm always like glass half sort of empty, you know, not half full and in life I'm generally a glass, glass half full person but I've been scared so many times by Leeds. I just expect the worst and you know, Leeds were the, the better team, but we just weren't creative enough, dynamic enough, uh, quick enough. It, 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 players just not quite on it. You know, players like Rutter has been amazing for us all season, but he's had a couple of ropey games recently. And, you know, when you've got players not on it, it just makes it hard to tick. And, yeah, just disappointing. Um, an awful game, Ben. Yeah, summed up pretty, pretty much. And I think going into it, especially the Leicester result as well, the night before, I think he just expected us to win. Blackburn got smashed in their previous game. Put uh, Bristol put five past them. So, yeah, he just expected us to turn up and and win. And we had a few chances first half. And it's one of those games, like, you get an early goal or a goal in the first half, goal a goal up, you win comfortably. Longer it goes on, Blackburn fighting for their lives, got the championship top goal scorer in Schmodix and... Like you get you get punished, and we've seen it time and time again. You think back to when Wigan beat us around Easter time a few years back. These types of games, I think, form goes out of the window, especially top v bottom. And it, in a sense, I'd rather play a Ipswich, a Leicester, a Southampton because you know what kind of game you're going to get with them, and they're going to come out at you. And it's it's just suit it suit us more this time of year. But fair play to Blackburn. They had a game plan, stuck to it, and uh, yeah, did a job on us. So for hugely frustrating, to say the least. Disappointing. But then you see Ipswich get a draw, and you just think, well, <laughs> we're still we're still massively in it. So that, I think that was that's what gives you the confidence and belief that we are still going to do this. The the form of Ipswich and Leicester, Leicester more particularly, because can imagine being in their situation and how they found themselves in now compared to what, two months ago? So, look, it could be miles better, could be a lot worse. Um, welcome to Leeds United. <laughs> well, did, didn't did the Leicester fans boo them, I think? Was it, mm, my, I, think so, I, yeah. I, I heard Gary Lineker saying something about it on uh, another podcast, and I thought that I'd, I didn't hear it, but, um, yeah, it is so tight at the top. It's like, it's you know, you could flip a coin at the moment. And anything could bloody happen. Mm. Uh, really, so uh, yeah, scary. Right? Do do you think that those really positive performances over Easter? We were all worried about Easter, and uh, we really shouldn't have been worried about Easter. <laughs> we all thought it was all going to go t- t- like tits up on Easter Monday, and yet no, they just waited a little bit longer for it. Yeah, it was the second coming, wasn't it? Of Easter, it was um, a few weeks later now, and it's yeah. Ben referred to that Wigan game, and a lot of Leeds fans are saying the same. I, I remember being at that Wigan game. What we went one nil up. They got a man sent off. You think, yeah, this is an easy, easy one, this in it. And then we got beat two one. It was just insane. And yeah, it just felt like that. And like Ben said, they were fighting for their lives. They, they came and did a number on us. I mean, I, I was so angry after the game. So angry, like the frustrated and angry. I thought, like, angry because it were an awful game, and it kind of like it felt like it ran into football. And, and I get it; they had a game plan, but I kind of think, why can't f- football just play football against each other why why do you have to come and park the bus i hate that like i've got a mate who's a man city fan and he said it happens all the time against man city but but man city have got um world-class players that can unlock unlock the door and get a goal you know and i feel that's what we're missing that sort of pablo type player with that just precise through ball or whatever just to unlock the game and you know nick that goal and we feel like we're missing that, especially like players like Rutter, who's, who's not been quite on form since his operation. And he was kind of doing that earlier on in the season. And, you know, some of those such dangerous plays, getting two players on him. And, you know, I just I just feel like, I'm not a football manager, I can't really comment, but I just feel like we, we, we need to know what to expect these and, and how how do we counter that? Do You know, if there's two players closing on someone when he picks up the ball surely that means there's space elsewhere do we need to move the ball quicker to open these spaces I, I don't know I'm sort of speculating here you know but 
I kind of came away angry and frustrated. You know, the last two games on the road have been crap. You know, two teams that have played anti football, but they've come with a game plan. And between them two teams have walked away from Ellen Road with four points, which is massive this season with a, a, a juggernaut like Leeds, especially Ellen Road. It's been a fortress. And by the way, obviously we lost that that little sort of stat we had of unbeaten at Ellen Road all season. Obviously that went out a window to, to such a crap game. But um, yeah, like you said there, Ben, we, we, we're still in it. Um, we are still in it because other teams are, are, are dropping and, and since the weekend went on, I've actually got a lot more optimistic again, but I were certainly angry after the game. I don't know how you have felt, Ben. No, yeah, of course. Like that, The anger, the disappointing frustration is there, but you've got to put things in like to perspective. Two hours later, you're watching Ipswich draw and you're still in, we're still in a fantastic position. And mm. the, obviously the frustrating part is if we took care of his own business, we'd be top by, what, six, seven points, but it's not by that. We're still in with a great chance. Like I said, it could have been a lot worse. Leicester and Ipswich could have been out of sight by now. So, um, three games to go. <laughs> How many points we need? I've given up in predicting. I've, all I'm predicting is that we are going to get in the top two. I've, I don't know how we're going to do it. How many points we're going to need? What Ipswich and Leicester are going to do? But we're going to be in the top two. Um, it's just you just throw everything out the window now because how everyone predicted it. You just thought would everyone just keep on winning and then we'd end, we'd end up in the top two by kind of default that way. Whereas now, just stop looking at form, stop looking at statistics because they mean nothing. It's just it's just who can hold it together and I think we'll just hold it together just enough to get in that top two. I like the positivity. I like the positivity. I think I feel as though we'd, we've needed that. We've needed a bit of Ben Parker positivity. Uh, it's good news. It's good news. Uh, how's everybody feeling on the chat? Let's have a quick uh, little peek. Um, well, Harry uh, says, "Evening, the boys. The boys. That's us. Uh, does anyone feel like we go? We will go up in the playoff or the autos? Well, I'm still thinking it's uh, could be autos. It could be anything. Jerry McNamee said about Willie Nonto. He asked for a picture. What could I say? Um, when he bumped into uh, Willie Nonto earlier on uh, last week. Keith Richards. The Keith, Keith Richards. Uh, somehow we've got to keep the faith, guys. Um, and uh, Nick, for as long as we can get autos, we should all support the lads to bring it home. Uh, John, though, he thinks it's playoffs. I think Southampton win it. That run and then the internationals has done our lads in. And Jonathan saying one of Jerry's boys scoring the winner against uh, Leeds. Uh, so, yeah, keep your comments coming in. Um, we'll uh, bring you more of those uh, a little bit uh, uh, later on. Uh, but right now, it's time to enter the news. Yes, boom indeed. Uh, it's any news, Graham. This week brought to you by the lovely people at Mortgages with Hanny and Co. Mortgages might seem a bit of a minefield at the moment, but it doesn't actually need to be that complicated. Get in contact with LS11 sponsor Mortgages with Hanny and Co. for clarity on the mortgage market. They're one of the UK's fastest growing brokerages, supporting requirements of individuals and businesses with a team of dedicated experts. They'll guide you through every single step. Take the first step towards your future today. Visit Mortgages with Hanny and Co. right now and quote LS11 for £100 off their one-off broker fee. Mortgages with Hanny and Co. on the journey with you. Yes, big thanks to Mortgages with Hanny and Co. Uh, into the news. Uh, there's not vast amounts of news around. Uh, something came out from the uh, uh, FA that the uh, Leeds United assistant manager has been charged with misconduct after that Blackburn game. Christopher John's behaviour, apparently, around the 97th minute was improper, Ryan. Improper. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, not happy when, I think it was Bamford that got pulled down. Like There were a couple of, like... Fairly weak penalty shouts, really. Um, and it kind of kicked off a little bit, didn't it, between the two benches. Um, but Danny Fyker's quite cool and calm and collected, to be fair. He had really nothing to do with it. He was sort of a peacekeeper. And, yeah, Christopher Johns uh, got <laughs> sent off and he went and literally just sat behind the dugout um, in, in the bottom of the West End. But, yeah, but it's passion, isn't it? And it overboils, especially 
in a game like that, you know, and, and, and how it was playing out and the importance for Leeds to try and get something out of it. Um, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, improper. Uh... Improper. Okay, improper. Uh, okay, uh, some news about the FA Youth Cup final clash with Man City. That's now going to take place on Friday, the 10th of May, in a very neutral venue, the Etihad Stadium. Uh, so, uh, fantastic. So, a home game. Is it over two legs, Ben? Or is that, that's it, it's a one-off? Yeah, just a one-off now, because it used to be over two. I'm not sure why they moved it or made the shift to to one, but it was always going to be there because Man City were drawn, I don't know, start of the draw, on the home side of the draw, and wow. we was always on the away side of the draw so it was just one of them things unfortunately so um i think ticket details will be out due course um but i'm, I'm just glad common sense has prevailed here because the um cutoff point was 4th of may it had to be played before the 4th of may um but we wanted it at the etihad it wasn't going to be by all accounts at the home ground and i've always thought especially fau cup final it should be held at the main stadium Whenever it's going to be played at. So they've done some jigging around. Whoever spoke to who, they've just come out with some common sense, probably spoke to either the FA or the Premier League and just put an extension on on the game because obviously Man City must have some big games coming up at home, ourselves as well. And common sense, just if you can't get it done before the 4th of May, just play, <laughs> play afterwards. So the terms have been agreed Friday night. So I'm sure we'll take quite a good following <laughs> over there. Um, so keep looking out on socials. The ticket details should be out in due course and it'll be a great night. What, what an occasion to get to an FA Youth Cup final, only the third time in our club's history. It's a fantastic, incredible achievement. And they're going there not to just make up the numbers up. Will it be difficult? Yeah, Man City have got some of the best young talent in Europe, but you go there with confidence and why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh, so, yeah, we'll keep an eye out, as Ben says, for uh, ticket details on that. And uh, some other news as well around the uh, Player of the Year Awards. And it was the EFL Player of the Year Awards. Uh, a couple of Leeds United nods. Crescencio Somerville, of course, picking up the Championship Player of the Year. Archie Gray, not surprisingly, pitching up uh, Young Player of the Year Award. Uh, ben, you had your dicky bow on down at the awards. Uh, I, I dusted off my tux and everything. The, co the call didn't come through. I, I was surprised, surprised. Yeah, I've, I've got a blister as well. Too much dancing in the night. But um, <laughs> yeah, great, 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 great evening. Um, really well put, put together. Saw lots of old faces not seen for a while. David Prutton will want a host, so great to catch up with Prutz. Um, and yeah, congratulations to, well, all the winners really, but obviously mainly the Leeds guys. Archer winning Apprentice of the Year as well. Jorginho in the Team of the Year alongside alongside his um, teammates with, with Somerville and Ampadu in there. And so... Really good night for for the Leeds contingent, but yeah, great great evening. And oh, who know who knew blisters hurt so bloody much? Absolutely killing. Really, was there one particular dance that uh, that, that got you? I'm not sure. It might have been the worm that did it, but we'll leave that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it, was a, uh, it looked like a, a fantastic night. It uh, looked uh, excellent. You've been doing lots of lot like, PFA stuff. I saw a a post of you over at Bradford City seeing Jamie Walker. Yeah, just it's just what I do down, just connecting the dots. <laughs> just, what, just what, what, what we do. <laughs> just what you do. Just what you do. Uh, loving it. Uh, so uh, I think that's about it for news, isn't it, Ryan? There's not really that much else to talk about, is there? Yeah, it's been pretty quiet, really. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else, that, certainly that I can't think of anyway. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, are there any other player of the year? When's the club one? Is that soon? Or is that this tomorrow, week? Or is tomorrow that night. Is it tomorrow night? I know I've got to host the Bradford one next week. I think that's next. Well, should yeah, Wednesday, I think, because they've had to rearrange that because it was going to be Tuesday, but there's another game on a Tuesday now. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, uh, well, if you're going to the Player of the Year Awards, uh, do report back. Uh, if you get any selfies, I don't know if Jerry's going, if he's going to be like getting loads of selfies with everybody. Uh, but um, uh, do report back to see if you, if you are going uh, and what you think of the uh, Player of the Year Awards. And if you get a selfie with Ben, 
make sure you tag at LS11 LUFC because that, that's the main one you want more than anything else. Uh, forget about, you know, uh, any of the first team players. A selfie with Ben Parker is what everybody wants. Well, you, you, you can't get any with the players because they're, they're not doing any stuff like that. So, so it um, will be a selfie with Ben or nothing. <laughs> me, me and Paul Reaney are available. There you um, go. There for, you free, go. for free. <laughs> what more could you ask for? Uh, brilliant. <laughs> uh, get yourself down there. Tell us all about it, definitely. Um, right. It's time to enter the Router Files. Yes, it's the Router Files. This week it's brought to you by Rim Scaffold. I know what you're thinking. I'm going to take on a building job and I've got an elaborate set of ladders. I'll be fine. Take it out of the equation. Get in contact with the experts. Rim Scaffolding Leeds Limited. Loads of experience in erecting scaffold for domestic, commercial and events customers. And they can complete in a safe and efficient manner. Get in contact with them right now. 01977 808 414. Get the experts in, not your elaborate set of ladders. Yeah, they are the expert. Rimleads.co.uk. Get in contact with those uh, if you need some help with your scaffolding. Um, okay, let's go to Ben. What are you going to chuck into the uh, router files this week? I really want to put the weather in, but oh. is, is that even a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can it be a nomination? <laughs> I'm sick of the wind. I'm sick of the rain. Any chance sort yourself out? I'm just fed up with it. But, yeah, um, I, I heartily agree on the weather. Um, and I endorse it uh, only for the fact of if you've ever tried to put it was slightly gusty when I was trying to put my uh, full caravan awning up last week and we got it sort of like got it in got it hammered in and then suddenly this big bastard gust of a wind came and pulled the whole thing up and over the caravan um and uh it, me and the wife are straining to get it down two other guys ran on from another caravan helping me pull it all down took it all off thought we're not going to do this now we'll do it tomorrow when it's calm um and i learned two things ben one always listen to my wife because she said is it a bit gusty to put this up and i went nah it'd be fine yeah it wasn't uh, and secondly uh when my wife said at the end of it she went that's it we're buying a static caravan uh so <laughs> so that's what we did at the weekend <laughs> we went and just bought a static caravan we're like yeah yeah we're done yeah we're done it's it's been fun for six years but nah, 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 done, done. <laughs> so, heartily agree with you weather goes in yeah weather definitely going in um, the hornings going in um a bit, um wales i was i was, I was gonna say, we said it earlier just the, this weekend, just the football results from Premier right. League to Championship, Rangers up in Scotland, who else? It could even say Barcelona last night. Just nobody wants to win at this time of year. God, it's, <laughs> it's actually fun, the people at the top, to win this time of year. Give it a go. Especially the other guys, not so much, but Leeds, give it a go. You'll, you'll enjoy yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, right, what are you chucking in? Gonna throw in Phil Hay, because um, Phil Hay, since going to the Athletic, has got quite sort of balls in, and I quite, I quite, quite like it. And he's actually like used the term vinegar strokes in one of his match reports, <laughs> which, <laughs> which is quite naughty. Um, <laughs> and I'll, I'll read a little bit of report. Um, so given that Leeds have been dominant in so many matches and given that their goals have been spread across 14 players, the midfield unit coming up blank has almost taken some doing. With the season's anxiety at its height, the red zone, as they might call it over in the US, the vinegar strokes, as the Viz magazine would have it, this is when contributions from unlikely sources count most, like Kamara Wayne with his first league goal for 15 months, or Gruev coming up with his second goal in a senior career. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're coming to the end of the season, and uh, Phil here refers to it as a vinegar stroke. So, um, yeah, well done, Phil, for being rather racy. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. That's uh, uh, that's just quality. Uh, I don't think I've heard the, the the term vinegar strokes in a well since I used to read Viz. So that was a long time ago. Now, uh, is it still going? Is Viz still going? I, I don't know, um, but yeah, we're around for quite a, quite a long time, wasn't yes. it, Viz? Oh dear, um, uh, brilliant! Uh, I'm also going to chuck in uh, Merthyr Town. Uh, this was sent to me by uh, Harry Chapman. Um, Winchester City FC they were playing, and Winchester City tweeted, uh, alert, kit update. Merthyr Town will play in our blue and black away kit, as they've accidentally left their kit in Wales. Uh, so <laughs> I just, I do, I do like that. Uh, and I saw, I was sent another tweet as well uh, by, um, and I think Harry sent me this one as well, which is a, a guy, Tomo, um, at LUFC1992 underscore V2, tweeted Big Lee Nicholson. Um, Hi, Lee, I've got a request. Every time an opposition goalkeeper has the ball in his hands, could you play the timer from Countdown over the PA? Uh, and I actually, I fully endorse that. I think that would be uh, hilarious, first of all. I think he might get in a bit of trouble uh, if he did it. Um, but I don't know. What could they do? What could they do? Oh, sorry, it was an accident. I just pressed the button. Um, what could they do? I'm wondering whether to try Bradford. <laughs> it's the same thing. I'm just wondering if we'd get away with it. Try it. <laughs> What's okay. the worst could happen? You say it yourself. <laughs> occasionally you know the alan partridge commentary where he goes shit uh uh for the football commentary we've got that on a button we've played that a couple of times with bradford and scott <laughs> um, so i wonder if we get away with it i wonder if we get away with it. i might try I might try it's a good one it's a good one uh okay uh right we'll let you choose this week um it's a tough one but i think as i think i might throw in last weekend's football results it, it mm. would and and leading into this, we like I say, but talk about Barcelona and whatnot last night. It just <laughs> just really weird. And and the fact that yeah, if you would have like put a pound on it, you'd be a very wealthy person right now. So um, yeah, um, the top teams basically just trying the best not to win games. Bizarre, other than Manchester City, who were laughing. But yeah, um, what a yeah football. Put that in for this weekend. Madness. Football. Football goes in. Uh, yeah, crazy week. Absolutely cray cray week. No doubt about that. Uh, if you've got a nomination for the router files, uh, then all you need to do is uh, tweet us or slide into our DMs if you can um, at LS11 LUFC. And uh, we'll get those in uh, on next week's show. Always nice to hear those. And Harry Chapman always sends quite a fair few good ones as well. So thanks very much for those. Uh, Harry, special, special me uh, mention for, for Harry Chapman. He's always sending some good ones. Uh, okay, next up is uh, the match review, preview. I was going to say review, but we've already done that. It's the preview. I'll remember what we do uh, very shortly. Uh, but uh, let's uh, let's hear from our sponsor for the match preview. It is, of course, the Terrace. You're searching for that last-minute birthday present for the football fan in your life. Well, the Terrace are the fan favourite platform for merchandising. Whether you want a lovely Leeds one or any other, like, friends in your family that support a different team get in contact with them have a look at their website they've got loads the terrace store.com home of the famous kit mug oh they do pet wear as well right buddy needs a new coat yes famous kit mugs uh you can get those at the terrace store.com uh so yeah uh, do uh, get on to them uh, some uh, great pals down there uh okay it's middlesbrough next and uh ooh, ee, ooh, this is, could be tough really because uh, they're the guys that drew against norwich uh, sorry ipswich last time out um so uh and they are fighting uh ben they are fighting aren't they because uh, there's a good chance they could be in the playoffs yeah, and I think they're eight unbeaten. And the strange team, but going back even to last season, they go on runs of these unbeaten stretches, but then when they do lose a game, they go equally the same way. So you don't really know what's to be expected, but it's going to be a tough game. I think a good thing, a massive positive, is Luke Halen can't play. And I read a stat the other day that he's got the most assists since March in the top four divisions. So he's been, uh, he's been linking up with their striker really well. And to have him not against us, obviously it's a massive positive, big blow to, to Borough. 
So it's um, probably going to be the same for Sam Greenwood as well. But you're just thinking, right, shall I get on the phone to them too? Get on the phone to Johnny Allison. Just get <laughs> some inside kind of info. And uh, come on, lads, come on, boys. We need the points more than you. Just let us win. You, you know you are leads. So it's, um, yeah, <laughs> I, I've given up in, in guessing. I'll give you a score prediction of this. But <laughs> I was, I, I was going to go, no idea. <laughs> right. Uh, any idea or are you, are you feeling the same as Ben? I'm feeling a bit optimistic. I kind of weirdly think a home uh, and away game will probably do as good, a, a little bit less pressure. And I'd like to think that Middlesbrough won't park the bus at home. You know, they'll probably come and play. Yeah, they're still in for a shot with the playoffs, but they really need like West Brom and Norwich to practically lose their, their remaining game. So it's probably unlikely they will get it, but there's a mathematical chance. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be hard. I think it's going to be an hard game. But like Ben said, the advantage of not having Luke Haley has been good for him playing. Uh, Sam Greenwood also can't play. I think they've had a few injury issues as well. So I think they've got a few players out. So hopefully they're, they're a bit threadbare and um, and they have a bit of an off day. But yeah, bizarre team. I think they lost the first six games at the start of the season. And then they went and won six games or something on the bounce straight after. It were insane. Um, you know, it's, they've been a real hit and miss team this season. It's hopefully they have a bit of a miss now for 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 the remaining part of the season, or at least when Leeds are in town. But yeah, this is probably. I know we've got to play Southampton, but I, I felt like this is one of the trickiest out of the remaining sort of three we've got to play. Um, probably because it's away, but hopefully that'll do us a favour. And yeah, I'm I'm predicting Leeds to get back on the horse and uh, get a win. Okay, uh, so score prediction. Right, what are you going to go for? 2-1 to Leeds. 2-1 to Leeds. Ben? 14-13, um, a Darren prediction. Let's go with that. <laughs> oh, my God. Like I know there was like a sort of a total eclipse uh, re- recently, but my God. Um, okay, all right, I'm going to go 1-0 Leeds. <laughs> It's all it's all gone strange. It's, it's, what a weird week this is in football. <laughs> it's a Wednesday night. It's a yeah. Wednesday night. Yeah, it's just all strange. Um uh what does anybody else think? Uh we'll find out. Uh Joe says, uh, evening lads, unfortunately it's the pressure that's getting to the boys. Well, as uh, Ben said earlier on, pressure's just for tires. Uh but it's not just us to say at least. I think it's playoffs now. Whatever happens, we've had a great season. Uh, also have to say we're so wasteful at set pieces, except penalties, and we're not practicing them. I'm sure they are. Uh, really miss strike with that threat. Um, a hugely important game for the young lads, says Leeds United, The View. One of the biggest they've ever played in that so it's about the uh, FA Youth Cup final. They've got the uh, great, they've got the main stadium. They've been fantastic over the course of the Youth Cup. Um, Harry has got a question for Ben. Has Prutton changed his personality now? He's become a presenter, he's changed his hair. Yeah, his hair's changed, but he's not changed. And I wouldn't want him to. What a guy. <laughs> uh, Top Banana says, even and all, glad to have made a live podcast tonight. Uh, well, pleasure. Uh, don't get used to it, although we might have to do the same next week. Uh, John says, uh, uh, making a sp- sneaky appearance in the Jerry making a sneaky appearance in the chat always makes a sneaky appearance. Uh, Ian, our posting morning, I mean, evening, you caught me off guard. Sorry about that. Um, and also saying that Count Arthur Strong is a Leeds fan. Okay, that's a sitcom. Count Arthur Strong. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, but, uh, apparently, a Leeds fan as well. So who knew? Um, John, uh, evening. Too predictable in our play. Last few games, seventy percent of play down left. We can't break teams down, which is why we take play play a deep block against us. We're still in it. But anyone out of the top four now to go up? No one wants it. Um, yeah, you've got to look, look, look. Southampton just seem to be creeping up as well, don't they? They uh, just quietly going about their business, and they're like teetering on the edge of it now aren't they yeah they certainly are and you know a week or so ago we were all you just excluded Southampton from this but the fact that Leeds Leicester Nips which are all been dropping points over the last few games um you know the last three games we've all lost and drawn and you know at the top three that is and that's give Southampton a massive sort of advantage they've won their last three games on the bounce they're now three points behind Leeds. Yeah. So 
uh, yeah, Leeds have got a better goal difference, but it's it's yeah, it's squeaky bum time. And obviously, we know we we played them last game of the season, so that could be that could be massive. You know, it could be one of them games with where the wins gets promoted directly or or whatever. And God, there'll be some you know pressure won't only be for tyres then. I think there'll be a lot of pressure on every Leeds fan as well <laughs> going in that game. Like. Honestly, it's so stressful being a Leeds fan at the moment. But um, <laughs> I kind of like love it and hate. It's kind of like a, uh, it's like it's like, like a torture, but a nice torture. It's weird. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just mad being a Leeds fan at the moment. Just it has been more enjoyable this end of the season than last end of the season. So well, this season's been awesome. Let's face it. You know, it's whatever happens, we're, we're finishing the playoff. It's still been brilliant and. You look what happened at the beginning of the season with all the ifs, buts and maybes with players wanting to leave and all that sort of thing. And But once we've sort of got going, it's, it's been brilliant. You, you can't grumble at this season. You know, up until like the last week or two, it's been practically a record-breaking season. I think yeah. with us all faltering over this last sort of like three or four games, it's um doesn't look like it's necessarily going to be record-breaking anymore. But still, the amount of points we've got and probably what we will get come the end of the season, we, you know, most teams in every other year would have got promoted. So it's been a strong season. You know, Ipswich coming out of League One, hit the ground running, and they've been brilliant. And you've just got to give them credit, haven't you? You know, on paper, they're not the best team, but they're doing it week in, week out. And everybody's been saying, aren't they? Like, they'll, 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 they'll drop points. So they'll hit a sticky patch. Yeah, they've had one or two sort of, you know, results not go their way, but they've got straight back up and straight back at them so got to give them a lot of credit and yeah, it's, yeah they're the story it's of the season Ipswich aren't they they yeah. are the story just in, just incredible what they've done mm. it is unbelievable We've got loads of uh, comments coming in this evening um, uh, what else have we got here? Uh, uh, Barry saying uh, it's been a good season. Uh, Ian uh, says, I've a hotel book near Wembley. I've had it since August. MOT. Um, uh, excellent. It reminds me of Bielsa's first season, John says. Just hope we win it if in the playoffs. Um, and uh, nine days off will make a big difference. Uh, so, yeah, maybe having a little bit of a uh, a chill might not be a bad thing, really. Some score predictions. Uh, Peter, who's in Sweden, uh, even in Sweden, uh, he goes 3-1 leads. Uh, Ian's going 4-3. Uh, John's going 1-0, just like me, you know, conservative. That's what, I'm, what we always are, John. Well done. Um, and uh, just a, a balanced view from Colin. Leeds are going to fuck it up. So uh, perfect, perfect one to to, to end on, I think. Uh, so <laughs> ah, you gotta love football. Um, but um, that's that's it for LS Eleven, the evening version. Uh, so uh, thanks very much uh, for joining us. Big thanks, of course, to our sponsors of this week's podcast, Tough Shop. Get yourself down to them for work clothing, more than just clothing as well. You can give them a call on O double one three two double eight double seven one three, or go to toughshop.co.uk. Of course, mortgages with Hanny, quote LS11 for £100 off your one-off broker fee, rim scaffolding in Leeds for professional scaffolding, and of course, those fantastic mugs and more uh, from the terrace store.com. Uh, uh, but uh, that is it for LS11 uh, for this week. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week. Discussions are afoot on when we're going to be doing it. Um, but I, uh, I'll talk about that to uh, these guys after we finish recording. Uh, so uh, <laughs> thanks very much for joining us. Like, subscribe, five star Apple podcast review. Rye, Ben, thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Cheers, boys. Great to see you, lads. Bye. This is LS11.